Sussex suffer as Sardison takes six to give Northants control at Hove. Day one at Hove was an even one for the majority of the day. The home side had done well with the ball to dismiss the top order for under 100 runs, but a late onslaught from the tail led by Safe Zabe had seen Northants reach 273 all out. Ollie Robinson's six wickets ensuring the batting side didn't reach 300. But with Sussex required to bat out the final overs in the evening session, they were unable to reach the close without loss, both Chopra and Salt gone to leave them reeling at 7 for 2. A resilient display with the bat would be a necessity on day two if they were going to hold hopes of erasing the North Hants advantage. But Sussex were about to be rocked. Wells was caught at third slip off Hutton for five. Two balls later, Thomason was gone for four. Vasconcelos with the catch, Sanderson finding the edge. And he'd soon have another. Evans the next man to go, Wakely with a smart catch low down to see the batsman out for six. Sussex would be one run short of their 50 when the next wicket fell. Brown feathering Proctor through to Rossington for 10. Rawlins and Visa would pump the brakes. A bit of respite provided as the pair took their side past 50. But their partnership would be brought to an end just before lunch, Hutton taking a great catch at second slip to see Sussex 7 down, Rawlins out for 31 and Sanderson picking up a fourth wicket. Five wickets had fallen in the first session with Sussex stumbling through to lunch on 83 for 7, still 190 runs behind. They'd survived four overs before another wicket fell after the break. Beer caught on the crease LBW to Hutton for one. The next over would see the end of Visa, caught behind on 28 for Sanderson's fifth. Sikander would be Sanderson's sixth, Wakely making no mistake as the number 11 edged it through to the slips to depart for three. Sussex all out for 106, still 167 runs behind Northants. The tone had been set late on day one as Sussex struggled in the dying light. That tentative batting had filtered through to the morning session as Sanderson ran through the side, finishing on six for 37. And when Northants would get their second inning started, the home side's day wasn't about to get any better. Vasconcelos and Newton found the form that had eluded them on the first day of play and began to increase the lead, boundaries flowing from both men's bats. There would be no let-up, as try as they might, Sussex couldn't find a way to remove either opener, and before long, they were each knocking on 50. Vasconcelos' half-century would come with an understated single, Newton reaching his off the next ball, blasting beer for six as they reached 108 without loss at tee, leading by 275. There'd be some joy for Sussex at the restart, Chopra holding on to a catch at slip as Robinson removed opener Newton for 54. Wakeley can be a dangerous man for North Hans, but his stay at the crease would be brief, Sikander getting one to nip off the seam and finding an inside edge through to Brown. Vasconcelos was now the danger man and was on his way to an important century for North Ants, but Sikander would stop him getting there. The opener trapped LBW for 88. Bavuma looked to score quickly, but that would be his downfall. As the total moved past 200, he was out caught on the mid-wicket boundary, Rawlins now chipping in. Keogh and Buck would be separated in the final overs of the day, taking North Ants through to the close at 212 for four. Leading by 379 runs and only 61 runs short of their own first innings total. It was another day to forget for Sussex the demons of their Durham defeat resurfacing once more as Northampton streaked into the lead. The bowling of Ben Sanderson had given Northamptonshire their platform. Their batsmen took the initiative and their lead now looks as though it will move past 400 at the beginning of day three. The home side need a miracle if they're to take anything from this match.